Are there other species that have this sensitivity to magnetic fields? A sensitivity which ultimately makes them vulnerable to man-made frequencies. Unfortunately, the discovery of a new protein cell called a cryptochrome suggests all life has a magnetic sense. They were discovered in the 1990s in plants where their function is to absorb blue light uh, which is used to regulate growth. They were since been found in insects, animals, mammals, including humans, and in birds. Cryptochromes are a biological molecule called a protein. It's generated by some of your genes called cryogenes. And the cryptochrome molecule actually controls your circadian rhythms, including melatonin production. Some of the cryptochromes seem to have a function of absorbing light uh, as detectors for the circadian clock. So they are inputs for the light-dark cycle uh, that many species seem to have, um, plants as well as animals. But in the year 2000, Thorsten Ritz demonstrated an even more amazing role for the cryptochrome. In a series of experiments on robins, he demonstrated that their navigational sense was not only a magnetic one, but it came directly from the cryptochrome cells, which are located behind the eye. I think the Ritz paper published in 2000 is one of those milestones in science because he proposed that this cryptochrome molecule, which remember is best known for its effect in controlling circadian rhythms, that that molecule was actually responsible for giving the compass, magnetic compass information in birds. The birds literally see the Earth's magnetic field, perhaps as a bright or dark spot superimposed on their field of vision. And as they then move their head or their body around, this spot moves, and so rather like a heads-up display for a fighter pilot, they have this thing that they see, goodness knows what it would be, uh, which allows them to orient uh, while they're flying. The way he tested that was to expose birds to radio frequency fields to see if it actually disturbed their magnetic compass. And not only did the radio frequency field indeed disrupt the um, migration of robins, but it did so at very, very low intensities of fields. And that, that's really important and really interesting, that very low level radio frequency fields interfered with, this, with, with the robin's compass. The experiments by Ritz clearly demonstrated that the cryptochrome cell used in navigation was seriously affected by man-made frequencies. And man-made frequencies at levels well below those deemed safe by the governing body, ICNRB. All of the animal navigation studies, the um, cockroaches, the zebra finches, the chickens, the robins, they've all had their magnetic compass disturbed by radio frequency fields well below the ICNRB public exposure limit. Like work on birds, particularly birds um, and insects, have shown that they are sensitive to fields way below the inert levels that claim are safe for us. If you look at where, where the research shows they're sensitive to, there's good stuff in the literature showing it's significantly lower than what we're allowed to be exposed to, and therefore what they're exposed to in the environment. There's certainly solid scientific reason for supposing that magnetic fields, artificial magnetic fields, will disturb the habitat of a number of species.